Hey honey, my name is Marquise and I am the owner of Nomadic Marketing. And in this video, I'm actually gonna show you three things you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. Uh, now, most likely, you know, you're just sitting there asking yourself, you know, why would I even be doing this in the first place? Or, or better yet, you know, what's in it for me? And honestly, both of those are two very good questions. Uh, oftentimes in the world of the internet, I've just seen that most local business owners, you know, they're just too busy running their own business to see how the inter internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation that they have to actually working with someone is they don't know who um, who's an expert and who isn't, you know, who's going to actually end up helping them and who's going to end up kind of just taking their money and run. Um, I found by giving people a free attack plan of actual things that they can do to just impact their businesses resulted in business owners just kind of raising their hands and saying, hey, Marquise, can you just do this for me? So if by the end of this video, you feel like I can help your business with gaining new customers, shoot me a message. We can chat. Um, or you can actually take any of this information that I'm giving you today and you can just use it on your own and that's fine too. All right, so now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time. Um, so the three things that we're gonna go over today are gonna be uh, web presence, uh, citations, and backlinks. So the first thing is web presence. So if I take a look here, it looks like uh, the main thing that you have to showcase your business and what you do is your Facebook page, which is great because it seems like you have about 154 likes, 154 subscribers. Um, looks like you put out a lot of really good information on your page as well. Um, the one thing that I will say that is that it does not look uh, very consistent in the manner in which you are posting, uh, especially if you're using something like Facebook, you should try to post at least two to three times a week uh, in order to make sure that you are staying consistent with the people that are following and subscribing to you. Um, what I would say that would be even better for you to do is to actually build a web page. And not just any web page would work for your specific type of business. I would definitely say to build something along the lines of a landing page. A landing page is a bit different because it's used to uh, attract new leads. So I just did a quick search of some of the companies uh, located near you that do life insurance. And this was a page that I found that I actually really liked the way that it was uh, put together. So as you can see, this is a landing page because it shows a little bit of a blurb up here, um, what you guys do or what your offering is. And then it gives you a little bit of a formal form for people to kind of like put in their information. And then below that, it'll show some information on uh, payouts and some frequently asked questions as well, and some product documents. So this is used to actually focus customers to put in the information so that you can contact them. The second thing, second thing is gonna be citations. So in order to do citations, I actually threw in the search uh, life insurance Philippines. I don't know where in the Philippines you uh, live, so I just did a, a pretty wide search. Uh, but I will say that with choosing something like this, there are things that come up that always come up no matter what search you do. The first thing that will always come up is going to be some ads. So these are Google ads right here. Basically, Google ads are pay-per-click ads that run across the Google ads network. So basically, business owners only pay when someone actually clicks on their ad. Uh, this can be useful to a company like yours. The only thing that I would say is you do need to be mindful of running these types of ads because you would need to get in contact with uh, Sun Life uh, Financial in order to see and have them make sure that you are able to run ads under their name because they would probably have specific ways that you would need to word your information so that um, neither you nor them get in trouble. The best area that I think would benefit you would probably be down here. So this right here is the Google Map Pack or Maps for short. So it's where you can find the name, address and phone number, AKA the NAPS for a business. Um, so a lot of business owners, you know, they'll contact me and just say, hey Marquise, how can I rank in the Map Pack? And when I say rank, I actually mean come in the, one of the, one, uh, these top three spots. There are a couple ways that you can do it. One is by actually optimizing your Google My Business page. Uh, you can do that a couple of ways. Uh, some is just optimizing the pictures that you have on the page itself. Others are optimizing the description, so it includes the keywords that you're trying to rank for. 
uh, in regards to your business. Uh, but the third way, and actually one of the biggest ways, is to get your citations up. So citations are anywhere across the internet that your NAPs are pre prevalent. So that's your name, address, and phone number. They're exactly the same in different parts of the internet. So one of the tools that we utilize here, this is called whitespark.ca. So whitespark.ca, it ranges from anywhere, uh, I think it's like 30 to $70 a month, but anyone can uh, utilize something like this in order to find this information. So this is a local citation finder. So it'll actually show you the citations that your business shows up for across the web. Um, I tried to do a search for, you know, your business under Sun Life Financial Advisors. I'm not sure if I had the name correct because I couldn't find any citations for you, which means that you're not really showing up in too many places across the internet, which is kind of hurting you. I did do a search for Manual Life Philippines. Um, that's what I had brought up before in one of the searches. And they look like they have 27 citations across the internet. So this is a really good number for them because it makes sure that they are seen in other places across the internet as well. What I would say um, that a person or a business owner should do, they should try to have anywhere from 200 to 300 citations across the internet. It's just to kind of like blow your competitors out of the water and make sure that they aren't able to actually touch you when it comes to showing up for uh, any kind of like Google Map Pack or Google Maps listing. Um, the last thing that I want to go over is backlinks. So think of backlinks as how a website has authority on the web. So simply put, um, if you were to take site A and site A points at site B, therefore site A is acting as a backlink that's giving site B more authority in Google's eyes. So you think of Google as kind of like a, um, like a popularity contest. The more sites that are pointing at you, the more popular you are in Google's eyes, which means the higher you rise when people are searching for different keywords. Um, the one thing that makes it difficult for you is that this only works if you have a website. So it does work for like this kind of company, Let's Go For Life. They actually have a website, which means that they're able to rank for uh, different places across Google Ads, and they're able to have the information um, set to have backlinks pointing at them. Um, I also did another search for Manu Life over here. And as you can see, they have about 5,000 backlinks. And that's across 618 referring domains. Basically, that means that these, these 618 websites, all of these 5,000 backlinks are coming from these, these 600 websites in some way, some form, some kind of way, you know? Um, I will say something else that Manual Life is doing well is they are ranking organically for about 10,000 keywords, which is bringing in 37,000 um, people to their website per month. And then it looks like they're also running paid ads as well. So having a website gives you a lot more options. Doesn't need to be a huge website. It can be something small, which is what a landing page is, but it definitely can help you to really increase your presence across the internet. So once again, uh, one of the, some of the things that we went over today, one, just being able to build up your web presence, uh, not just through your Facebook page by posting more consistently, but also by establishing some kind of website. I'm saying that a landing page would probably be the most beneficial for you. So you don't need a huge website that has all of these bells and whistles, something uh, small that can convert someone from just looking around to being an actual customer. Uh, second thing is citations. So you definitely are going to want to have anywhere from 200 to 300 of these just to kind of beat out your competition by a landslide. And backlinks. You're going to need more relevant sites that are pointing at you guys just to show you um, or show Google that you're an authority across the web. And actually, if you were to implement these strategies today, you can be one of the number one uh, sites across Google. Uh, I bet you're wondering, you know, just what now? Well, you can either go and use this information that I provided you on your own, and I'm perfectly all right with that. Or if you want the most effective route and actually one that will save yourself some time, um, you can contact me right on Facebook and we can chat right there and see if we can set up an online meeting to talk further. Um, I would love to see exactly what you're looking to do with your business, 
and then also see if there's a way that I can help. Uh, once again, my name is Marquise with Nomadic Marketing. And one of the best ways for you to contact me would be through Facebook. And I would love to speak with you. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your day and have a good one.